My name is Melissa Elliott. I'm the Manager of Consumer Participation and Patient Experience at Eastern Health. This role is a big organisational role. I oversee the complaints and compliments for all of the areas, so I manage the patient relations staff. I also look after the consumer register at, at Eastern Health, which is about 85 consumer register members, so ex-patients, current patients, community members and um, family members, carers. That role has grown and grown um, across Eastern Health and more and more I'm asked for consumer participation on committees, focus groups, forums and redesign, redesign events. The patient experience model of care at Eastern Health is in the patient shoe, so everything that we do is placing the patient's perspective in everything that we do. We have the 10 principles of care that measure and monitor everything that we do each month. We produce a patient experience of care report quarterly and we measure everything against those principles. So the Victorian Healthcare Experience Survey, the VES experience data, the local patient experience data, our compliments, complaints and our leadership walk around. Our leadership walkarounds provide great feedback from, for, from our patients and families and are able to, um, we're able to theme everything that we do against these principles. The keys to success are, are our results um, in that we measure and monitor each month. We theme our data. Um, we have many, many patients across the organisation um, on committees. We have 60 committees across Eastern Health that have consumers, consumers representing their perspective on, on them. And many of our consumers are lived experience, so they've been part of that service and they're now feeding into the service improvements for that service. The quarterly report that we do is called the Patient Experience of Care Report. All of the data that we collect across the organisation is built into that report. It's tabled at all committees across Eastern Health uh, from the highest level, the board quality meeting, the community advisory committee meeting, the clinical executive committee, all program quality and strategy committees and the results are discussed and service improvements are made um, based on those results. Across the organisation, the training is delivered via iLearn, so that's an electronic platform that, um, that all staff um, do, which is the national standards for accreditation purposes. So standard two, partnering with consumers, and also standard 11 and 12 would um, cover off um, patient experience. They also receive training at the new managers orientation. So all new managers across Eastern Health attend the training and we deliver a um, patient experience and consumer participation training session in which I have a consumer attend and deliver it with me. A really lovely staff, uh, staff member story was a staff, one of the nurses was walking on the street outside Box Hill Hospital and a, the husband of a patient was really anxious and um, discovered when he went back to his car that he had a parking fine. He approached the first person he could see on the street to say, how do I pay this? I need to pay this really fast. My wife's a stroke patient. She's on one of your wards currently and I need to pay this so that I don't forget about it um, because my wife is so unwell. This person um, asked if they could see the parking ticket and she took the parking ticket from him and she said, don't worry about it. And he said, what do you mean? And she said, I, I've paid it. So she pulled out her phone and she actually paid that parking fine on the spot to ensure she could see that he was really stressed and upset and um, so that she, she wanted him to be able to get back to his wife fast and not, and not be stressed about a parking fine at Box Hill. The staff members stepped outside of their comfort zone and they, and they showed empathy and kindness in everything that they did. They wanted, they wanted the person to be back with their family and not to be concerned or upset about something which might have felt a little trivial but obviously um, something big for, for, the, for the man. One of the unexpected outcomes is the number of um, feedback that is coming to us electronically nowadays. So what has become really large and um, significant at Eastern Health is patient opinion, which is a, an electronic platform for patients and families to tell us their story. They'll log on, it'll be anonymous, and they'll um, publish a story online um, that, we, that we receive and our CEO responds to all patient opinion stories. To date we've had about 465 stories and at least uh, 250,000 viewings of those stories. So it's become a very transparent mode for us to, um, sh for patients and families to share their story. The leadership at Eastern Health lives and breathes patient experience around communication and um, empathy and compassion and we, we have new values um, that the leadership has designed for us in patient first, 
kindness, agility. I'd like to share a patient experience story with you all. About 12 months ago, we received a really lovely compliment from a chaplain. A patient in ICU were, were in, was in their last days of living and her daughter was being married in the next two weeks. She was, it was very unlikely that she would make the wedding, uh, be able to attend it. So the staff in ICU contacted a chaplain and arranged for the wedding to be brought forward and to be held actually in ICU. The patient's room was dressed with candles and flowers and photos and the, the celebrant conducted the wedding. The celebrant who wrote the compliment to us um, said that he, it brought a grisly old 71 year old to tears um, and it was absolutely beautiful. In this act, the staff showed that they met all of our values, kindness, empathy, agility, enable, being able to do it really fast for the family and obviously patient first. They, pay, they placed the patient first in everything they did in this, in this action.